she went out uh, and looked in the garage and seen a lot of smoke coming up, followed by a lot of flames. Not the way you want to start your Thanksgiving, but as you'll soon find out, a local family didn't let it spoil their day. Plus, a fence jumper puts the White House on lockdown. We'll hear from a witness who watched it happen. Live and local with coverage you can count on. This is WNEM TV 5 News at 11. A live look over mid-Michigan. State police in full force for the Thanksgiving weekend and people still on the roads. No doubt a good number of them with a goal in mind. A PlayStation 4. Yes. Toys, all sorts of toys. Today was the unofficial start of Black Friday, the day when shoppers head to the store to hunt for a holiday bargain. And for those who head out tomorrow, this is what you're going to deal with, rain. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm Meg McLeod. And I'm David Custer. We hope you're enjoying your Thanksgiving because as Meg just said, tomorrow's not looking so good. Chief Meteorologist Brian Bachman joins us now. And Brian, who's going to get hit the worst and how long is it going to last? You know, the simplest way to answer that is just everybody. All of mid-Michigan going to be seeing this rain rolling through overnight and into at least the first half of tomorrow. Silver lining is that the temperatures, at least initially, are going to stay pretty level on what they have been today. So at least it'll be a warmer rain, if that's any consolation to you. But I know uh, Black Friday shoppers, certainly not what you want to hear in addition to, of course, the fact that you're going to be carrying hopefully a ton of deals that you've been able to snag while you want to add the umbrella to that arsenal. We got a tremendous plume of moisture beginning to ride in along a cold frontal boundary, which is actually stuck just to our west, kind of cutting across the northern half of Lake Michigan and into Wisconsin tonight. But it's a very slow mover, at least in its eastward progress. So we still have about another 18 solid hours of weather like this. And as you can see, just all this moisture continuing to come up from the Gulf of Mexico. Take a look at how far back it actually goes all the way down into the far southern plains tonight, Oklahoma, and it even continues down into Texas. And on the other side of this front, uh, we'll also have a pretty tremendous temperature drop, one of the biggest we've seen in quite some time, at least in one given day. But let's enjoy what we have in front of us right now. Take a look at this. Still 60 degrees. 60 in the Flint area when normal high only 41 degrees. Midland, not too far behind, 51 de or 59 degrees, one degree behind to be exact. 59 in Bay City and a nice pleasant 55 with increasing winds, but still at least dry in Saginaw. Rain will take over, maybe even a possible embedded rumble of thunder through the very early stages of the overnight. But take a look at the temperature drop, 53 to start tomorrow, but by lunchtime already down to 40. All the details on that, plus your weekend forecast coming up in just a little bit. Well, a good number of people will avoid getting soaked because they were willing to brave the occasional flying elbow to get an early start on Black Friday shopping. And one of the premier attractions is the premium outlets in Birch Run. That's where we find Andrew Keller. So, Andrew, did you get any shopping done? No. I, I'm working. You know that you can't get you can't get shopping done when you're working. Well, I may have thrown a couple bows out there to try to get some of those great deals that were happening. Take a look at uh, the North Face. You still have a line waiting to get in to the North Face. You look over at Coach. Take a look at Coach, and uh, there's still a line waiting to get in there. This has kind of been the story all evening long. Matter of fact, I call, saw a couple people come out of Coach with a Merce or two, and uh, obviously it's just a very good opportunity for people to get some good deals in. For some people, there's a holiday within the Thanksgiving holiday. Black Friday is almost like Turkey Thursday now, and people are getting out early to stuff their Christmas baskets. My family, try to get their Christmas gifts bought. Alexis Nodder left her grandmother's house early to get her hands on some of the deals at Birch Run Premium Outlets. She joined many. After the past few years, we've done it. What do you think about it? Uh, it's crazy, but fun. And tonight, the shopping fanatics continued what some call a tradition. Since about 1988. <laughs> right now, it's not too cold. It's not snowing. It's, beautiful tonight. <laughs> it's a beautiful night. The Connors have made it a family event. They came in from Canada to buy some winter gear at North Face tonight. That's the main reason. What's that? Family. Because work, everybody's working, never get together. But it is still highly controversial for stores to open on Thanksgiving. I like it better. That way you don't have to stay up all night. <laughs> Go home and get some rest. <laughs> um, they probably wish it wasn't because we have to leave my grandma's house to come here, but it is what it is. In the end, those who were out tonight say that they're going to spend the money anyway. It's the one thing we do every year together. And now somehow all of these people out here have a lot of energy even after uh, stuffing their uh, 
gullets this afternoon. Now, not every store is open. Pottery Barn just down the way. They're not opening until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Signs on their doors saying that they that their uh, employees uh, celebrate the holiday. But, of course, this is pretty much what the scene has been all over. Majority of the stores are open here at the Birch Run Premium Outlets. And I guess this is where I get to say goodbye and I'm going to go shopping. I'm Andrew Keller. We'll send it back to you. All right. Have a good time. Thank you, Andrew. I'm not going shopping. <laughs> okay. Or not. Hope they got some good deals. Here's a quick look at the hours of some major mid-Michigan retailers. The premium outlets Toys R Us and Target will remain open through late tomorrow. Dick's Sporting Goods opens at 5 a.m. and Best Buy opens at 8. And all of you early birds heading out tomorrow, be sure to get your forecast before you head out the door. Meteorologist Daphne DeLorme and we'll have it on Wake Up starting at 5. Well, no time off for family today or for Black Friday shopping for a select group of people. First responders reported for work on a day when most offices are closed. But that sense of duty is a big part of who they are. You know, most of them, you know, even if the day was open, you know, as far as taking the day off, uh, most of them, you know, would rather be here, uh, do their job. Some of those first responders had to answer the call today. A local family ended up dealing with an emergency while preparing dinner. But as TV5's Ron Hilliard reports, they didn't let it spoil their Thanksgiving. I thank my big sisters for watching after me and making sure I made my way out the house. Autumn Turner is happy to be alive after a grease fire started in her grandmother's garage <laughs> about 7 this morning. Eight people were inside the home on Bethany Street, including five children, when her uncle noticed an unusual odor. And I just kept smelling something that didn't smell right. And uh, as I mentioned it out loud. My mom, she went out uh, and looked in the garage and seen a lot of smoke coming up, followed by a lot of flames. Lester and his brother didn't waste any time. We were trying to get everybody out the house because, you know, uh, lives cannot be replaced. A turkey and a smoker can be replaced anytime. This is the smoker where the fire started. The family says that old grease was the cause. I, I proceeded back in the house. I got a pan of water, put the fire out, came back out. The fire was already out when firefighters arrived. However, emergency personnel warn against using water on grease fires. For now, the White family has another reason to give thanks. Just make family appreciate each other more because you just never know when it could be the, the last one. Reporting from Saginaw, Ron Hilliard, WNEM TV 5. And this story is kind of a reminder of the things we ought to be grateful for. And we asked on Facebook what you're grateful for. Emily has a whole list of things, including her life, family, friends, and pets. Mary is grateful for her son who gave up his job and his friends to move with her due to her health problems. And Lori is grateful for family, friends, health, and TV5. Thanks, Lori. Well, criminal charges are pending against the man who sent the White House into lockdown after jumping the North Lawn fence this afternoon. A photographer captured the moment Joseph Caputo hopped the fortifying fence, draped in a flag and holding a binder in his mouth. She tweeted, I heard him take a deep breath and whisper, all right, let's do this. And he went for it. The intruder dropped to his knees with his hands in the air as the Secret Service rushed to arrest him. He was unarmed. This incident follows a series of embarrassing incidents for the Secret Service, including a security breach where a fence jumper was able to get inside the White House and made it all the way to the East Room. He was one of three men to jump the fence last year. More controversy over last year's deadly shooting of a teenager by a Chicago police officer. A bishop in Chicago is calling for the resignation of the Illinois state attorney who took a year to file first degree murder charges against officer Jason Van Dyke. He pursued Laquan McDonald before firing at the teen. The autopsy showed McDonald was shot 16 times and had PCP in his system. Van Dyke remains jailed. And he is swallowed up in the backfield with fans out on the field. A Thanksgiving Day victory for the Detroit Lions interrupted by protesters. They made it past security and carried signs onto Ford Field with two minutes left in the game. One said animal liberation, the other, it's not food, it's violence. The protesters were quickly escorted off the field. As for the game itself, Nick Austin will have all the big plays coming up in Sports Extra. An airline passenger recorded an unusual incident outside the window of his plane. Yeah, what would you think if you saw baggage handlers doing this? Find out what their employer says they're doing. They've been off the air for more than 20 years, but the Golden Girls are back. 
in a much different form. Stick around for this one. Next up, tis the season for credit card hackers. Find out what's prompted a new alert.